What is up, Solar Fam? It's your boy Solar Bro, and we back. I'm back to give you guys an update on my setup so far. So, I did a little upgrading, and I'm gonna show you guys what I upgraded to. Um, this is my upgraded setup. I am now running the Grow Watt Pure Sine Wave MPPT inverter. This guy right here has it's been something else, man. I tell you, what I did was I also upgraded my battery bank system with to bigbattery.com and found this guy this guy's called the mule and as you can see it is a 24 volt battery um, bank light pole 4 system a really really nice battery bank I must say I'm very impressed with it it pretty much runs my entire living room both of my bedrooms refrigerator it's amazing it's been amazing so that's what I upgraded from the Echo Worthy setup that I previously first had installed. I also did install myself a solar fuse box. So this is my fuse system right here. You know, I have two breakers that I'm not using right now, right here. And then these two I am using. So this is my breaker setup. And I just went ahead and um hook this up main disconnect uh, I did put a main disconnect in here of course hooked up my my fuses I ordered an extra one but did hook up my fuses for inline for this system just in case you always want to make sure that you put fuses in between the solar panels to the inverter and also from the fuse box and from your battery bank so that's what I did as a precautionary measure and it's been working out really well. This little Halloween stuff right here. Got this right here, this fuse box. Got this off of Amazon. It was $34, which was all you need. You know, I just needed six breakers. Um, I still got two that I can add in too. So I'm only utilizing four out of the six on that. I also decided to go with this GrowWise system uh, just because of the reviews that were posted on it the reviews were amazing on it and it was fairly simple to hook up but as you can see the options on here are really amazing I'll go through a couple of them with you so this shows what you're getting in I do have it hooked up to alternating current right now uh, that is plugged directly in the wall should the battery system not have enough power to power my devices shows you kilohertz it shows you how much voltage you're getting from your solar panels which is really nice shows you your amperage that you're currently um, bringing in from your solar it's towards the end of the day so I'm not pulling in much right now shows you the wattage that you're getting from your solar system I'm only getting 44 watts right now Usually I'm up around close to 1,000 to 1,100 uh, during the middle of the day, which is really nice. Charges these the battery system up really fast. And then this also shows your battery voltage. I have a battery voltage of 26.4 volts. <laughs> this will last me all the way through the night into the next morning and, and it will only drop down to about maybe 25.1, maybe 24.9. So. It's a very good battery system. This right here shows you that you are running off of LiPo batteries. You have to set that up. And this shows you your output, 120 volts. That's what you want. That's what the standard home is, 120 volts. So I really recommend this GrowWatt setup. So the setup does come with a nice instruction manual as well. This is the actual manual. Like I said, it could have been done a little bit better, but for the most part, it's pretty clear and concise on how to hook the system up and what each port is for. I did order the additional Wi-Fi 
adapter as well, which I'm still in the process of setting up. This actually was kind of disappointing to me, the way that they have that set up, because you have to go through, through an app. So I did not like that. I have got it working since I purchased it, and I'll give you guys an update on how, that, how well that works, because it's supposed to monitor your power usage, how much power your solar panels bring in, et cetera, et cetera. I'll make an updated video on how that Wi-Fi adapter does work with the unit. But um, all in all, it's pretty clear. Tells you how to do the assembly. Tells you what all the ports are for. Tells you the maximum PV array that you can use with the system, which is which is you know good to know. That's good information. I believe this setup can use up to it can handle up to 2,000 watts so the setup is actually really nice you can either run lithium which is lipo 4 or you can run lead acid batteries slas um that gives you the option and the flexibility to upgrade your system later if you can only afford or you only want to go with the cheaper lead acid batteries but i mean that gets you the power that you need until you can upgrade to lipo 4 batteries so i went with the big battery bank that's why i went with this because it was like a lipo 4 uh, battery bank system and like I said this this has been really really nice the instructions um, they're pretty clear and concise it would have been nice for a more thorough instruction manual but all in all I'm very satisfied with it make sure you do use the four gauge wire the thicker wire from your battery bank this battery backup system is really nice because it comes with the higher gauge wire that you need so you know I can draw you know believe up to 250 amps off of this bank and um, don't quote me on that but I'll have to look at the manual uh, I'll post the update but this can handle pretty much everything that I've thrown at it so far so all in all it's a really good setup I'm really happy with this update from the echo worthy setup the echo worthy setup was very nice I I still Definitely give a thumbs up to the Echo Worthy 3000 watt inverter setup that they sell on eBay. But I just needed a little bit more because I wanted to, in the event of a power outage or in the event that something goes wrong, I wanted to have the satisfaction of knowing I could go to a battery bank system that would be able to power me for up to 24 to 48 hours continuously and this is more than more than what i needed so it's towards the end of the day and this is um just a look at my solar panel setup that i have like i said i did upgrade and um get another two solar panels and added them to my system i'm gonna mount them here in the near near future but this setup actually is, is working up out for me pretty well so far i'm still able to get you know close to a thousand a thousand um watts to at some point i was getting 1200 so it's working out pretty well but i know once i mount it it's going to really improve my solar panel performance but for my needs right now i mean it charges that battery bank up with no problem at all it is like i said a lipo 4 battery bank setup and it really you know i was really impressed with the price on it so all in all i'm really really impressed with the with the setup the shipping came right to my house and they also sold larger battery bank systems for you as well so you guys can check it out and it's anything that you guys would be interested in i'm very happy very satisfied make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel hope you enjoyed the video and until next time it's your boy solar bro we out